Hi guys, welcome back. This is part two of the solar panel installation. Finally got some time uh, where my buddy was available so we could use the soldering gun. It's my first time doing something like this, but we learned a lot through the process. It took us about two hours overall, and we realized that the soldering gun wasn't necessarily rated for the cables we were dealing with. It took a long time to not only heat the wires themselves, but the terminals to get a good adhesion. We used flux, which is that putty-like substance up in the upper right corner, and that's supposed to help with adhesion. But even with that, we had a tough time. I wanted to get one last test in, make sure everything's wired correctly. And these, while they're dirty, not facing the sun, and a little overcast, slightly cloudy, I got about, yeah, it's going up now, now the sun's coming out. 47 watts 45 input that's not too bad so this used to have heat shrink on it like this so heat shrink exposed cable and then into the terminal but what we figured out is that these grip extremely well onto the cable itself and the heat shrink makes it just too big to fit in this so we removed the heat shrink shoved the cables to about here and then completely locked them down and each one of these has locking teeth so it keeps the cable in place and can't pull out but we did that on all of them so it's going to make that slightly more waterproof this connector will likely just be flopping around underneath the panel and i wanted to lock it in i had an extra adapter that i likely will never use in the time that i own the panel so i removed the existing sp50 from that for now i'm just going to be using some super glue but likely if this fails i'll get some sort of marine adhesive similar to what's used to put these electrical boxes down onto the panel but let's see how this works to the approximate location it's probably about where i want it right there so i did a generous amount here here and here. I'll just flip it upside down and hope for the best. So this finished adhering, I can pretty much pick up the whole panel just from that and it works perfectly where you can snap the existing wire into that connector to keep it out of the way when we're underway. It's not too hard to put these on. All you gotta do is loosen these to the appropriate distance of the channel slot and then you can hand tighten them all the way down and the next step just to make sure all of the washers are 90 degrees to the channel this one is fully 90 this one isn't so it'll go on is actually push the panel down make sure it's perpendicular and then really cinch it down with the wrench just finished tightening the panels down to the racks. Very rigid. I'm just grabbing the panels alone and moves the little car. And obviously these are locked down too. Now I'll get the extender cable, plug it in, see how it routes into the car. This is the extender, just SB50 to SB50. And I believe it's 12 feet long. So let's. I'll slightly crack the window. We'll feed this through from the inside. Oh, that actually works pretty well. Try to show you guys a little better angle of what we have going on down here. There to there. And then this is the adhesive right here where it snaps in the adapter when it's not in use. And when it is in use, the adapter plugs into here 
and then the cord runs through underneath and comes in over here. And like I said before, I'll probably have some sort of plastic piece where if I wanted to have the windows closed, I had the ability to while still running the solar. A few things that I'll have to remember are to keep the panel clear of any dust and debris as well as snow. And I will have to park my car. Usually when I'm parking for skiing, it's like whatever spot I can find, but I need to find the orientation either going front in or backing in to find the best location for the panel so it's not completely blocked by any natural features or even the box on my car. If you want to follow along with any videos, again, subscribe. Uh, if you like the video, drop a like. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, not only for this, but anything else, uh, throw them down in the comment section. Thanks for watching.